But let's take a look at these great vessels that attach to the heart. With the superior vena cava, which drains deoxygenated blood from the upper half of the body. We see we have a right internal jugular vein draining the head and neck, and we have a right subclavian vein draining the right upper limb. And together they'll form the right brachiocephalic vein. Brachiocephalic refers to upper limb and head. And finally, that will enter into the SVC. It's variable, but usually the right inferior thyroid veins are also going to drain into the brachiocephalic right before it goes into the SVC. Similarly, on the left side, we have a left internal jugular vein, we have a left subclavian vein, and they'll form the left brachiocephalic vein, which is quite a bit longer than the right because it has to cross over the midline to reach the SVC over on the right side of the heart. It also tends to receive the inferior thyroid veins on that side before joining the SVC, and although it wasn't pictured on the right side, the brachiocephalics also tend to receive the internal thoracic or mammary veins.